Hey, what's up, fellas? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the not-so-new, but newer unit, Gojo Infinity. This guy is really strong and is actually meta right now, according to my knowledge, if I'm correct. Yeah, he's meta, of course. I, well, I don't know why I said that. And also to add on to it, Bro not only has a mythical trait, Deadeye, but he also has full Z plus stats. So besides the godly stats, this is about as strong as what he's going to be. So before we start, here's a quick shout-out to my members. Also, join the Discord. Link is in the description. Now, let's check him out. Okay, so for clarification, Gojo's stats are Z+. Plus. I don't know why I was lagging on that last thing. That was interesting. I almost recorded a laggy thing. Ooh. Gojo has a placement cap of 3, and he costs 1,800 to place down. So, again, and one more thing. His clar for clarification. He has full Z plus stats, and he also has the dead eye trait. So another mythical trait, and also very, very powerful stats. Look at that, man. That's, that's just pretty to look at. So we can talk about his passives real quick, even though he actually gains a couple more passives uh, later on as uh, you upgrade him. But his first two passives are Strongest Sorcerer, damage plus 20%, and SPA minus 10%. He also has the Limitless, which basically makes him completely immune to everything. And damage point plus point one with each wave passed. So in 10 waves, he gains 1% uh, of damage, and in 100 waves, he gains 10%, which is kind of cool, but you ain't gonna be playing that high, so uh, good luck. <laughs> There's a third passive at upgrade 8, but we'll get to that when we actually get to that. So upgrade 1, he costs 2,500 yen to upgrade, and he goes from 3.31k damage to 476 6k damage. His SPA goes from 4.7 seconds and stays there, uh, but his range increases by a whole stud. He starts off a splash AoE, but that will change here soon. Upgrade 2, his damage goes from 4.4k to 5.41k. His SPA stays the same, but he goes to 22.2 studs, and he costs 3400 yen to upgrade. Upgrade 3, he goes from 5.41k damage to 5.87k damage. His SPA goes down to 4.3 seconds, and his range increases to 25.6 studs. 3 stud increase, that's pretty good. He also gains the ability red, and this costs 5,000 yen to upgrade. Look at that ring. Woo! He also goes to line AoE, which is pretty cool. So upgrade 4, he goes from 5.88k damage to 7.81k damage. His SPA stays at 4.3 seconds, but his range increases to 20 27.8 studs, and this costs 6,500 yen. So upgrade 5, he goes to goes from 7.81k damage to 9.28k damage. His SBA stays at 4.3 seconds, and his range increases to 30 studs average, and this costs 7,400 yen. That's a big change. It's pretty cool. So upgrade 6, his damage goes from 9.29k to 13.09k. His SBA does take a bit of a hit and goes up to 5.1 seconds, but his range increases to 33.4 studs. He gains the ability purple, and this costs 9,000 yen to, add, to purchase. His line AoE also increases a little bit from like a thin line to like a wider line. Sound effects are really cool, by the way. So upgrade 7, he goes from 13.1k to 14.82k. His SPA stays the same at 5.1 seconds, but his range increases to 34.5 studs. And this costs 9.9k yen to purchase. Now is when things are going to start getting real fun with Gojo. I've actually seen this guy in his entirety, so uh, spoilers for me, but... That's, that's fine. So upgrade 8, he goes from 14.83k damage and goes to 16.87k damage. His SPA stays at 5.1 seconds, but his range increases to 35.6 seconds and he gains the ability Void. This upgrade costs 12,000 yen, however, but he is about to get his third passive. He stays line AoE for now, but this guy is about to take a massive jump in damage. But let's talk about his third passive. Unlimited Expansion. Gains the ability Void. SBA minus 2 for each kill during Void, down to 10%. So basically what this is, is a time stop. It's 6 seconds, which is very cool. He also gains a 50% damage increase whenever Void is active. So basically, he's going to be getting 8k extra damage at this very upgrade. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but we can do better. So upgrade 9, he goes from 16.9k to 36.51k. Almost, no, 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 over double his damage. He does gain double the SPA, however, but his, his range increases so much. He gains the ability max purple, and this costs 15,000 yen to upgrade. And by the way, boys, he goes from line AoE to... Full AoE. Look at this attack, man. 
<laughs> it's an area nuke, dude. It's awesome. And by the way, the void thing does stack with this. So he is going to be doing like 16k extra damage for this. We'll demonstrate it here in a minute. But upgrade 10, he goes from 36.54k damage to 40.3k damage. That was a little bit of a jump there because he does gain the uh, limitless ability uh, and, and the damage increase every, every wave. So like it's not exact every time. But the higher you go, the more damage he does, basically. He also goes up to 45.6 studs. This costs 17,700 yen in order to upgrade him, though. <laughs> but it's flipping worth it because that is his max upgrade. Yeah, it's only tw wave 28, but as you can see, there's, like, no enemies here. Yeah, go just, just, go just a little strong. Just a little strong. Anyways, here's his void ability. I think it's like a 10 second freeze. But yeah, it's very, very strong. As you saw, he got up to 40k damage there. So yeah, Gojo is a very good unit and is currently meta, which is awesome. I mean, it kind of makes sense. He, it is Satoru Gojo we're talking about. So I mean, come on. But anyways, boys, we're going to go ahead and sell this guy. We're going to move him over here because I already have Haruka written placed and already completely, not really maxed. Okay, now she's maxed, but her buff is fully placed down and fully active. And she is still spasming out on a frick ton of caffeine. Animate Vanguard's devs, why are you letting her have the monsters? Hey, just jumping in here real quick to say that if you're enjoying the video then make sure to not only like it but also subscribe for more currently i'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before the year 2024 ends which is not flipping happening since the end of the year is literally next month but you know what that's okay all support is still appreciated thank you okay let's continue so let's go ahead and place gojo down and get this one maxed and with the buff, he goes up to 45.89k. It's insane, bro. So Blitz might actually be a really good trait to get for this guy. However, I'd still recommend either Ethereal or even Monarch for this guy. Quite powerful, but I mean, hey, we, we can do a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get all three Gojos down and upgraded so we can uh, check out how much, how much Anarchy they can cause. 45.8k, auto-activate barely had enough but that's all right okay all three gojos are down and doing a ton of damage i'm gonna come over here because standing right on top of them it uh it's kind of blinding but yeah 45.2k i'm gonna turn auto on so that way it automatically activates but boys it's crazy gojo do a lot of damage he does have a little bit of a wind up time though for his attack so it's so it's like 11 seconds on top of maybe like three seconds three four seconds something like that before he actually does the tick of damage so it's 14 seconds in total 11 seconds of actual spa but when it hits it's a tactical nuke so it's quite nice so fellas if you guys need a really strong secret unit who was originally a mythic unit then look no further than satoru gojo very strong unit definitely get him by the way if you haven't checked out my obito unit overview yet then make sure to go click on it right here it's a good video for you to watch since obito is a very good unit so definitely go check it out. Dismissed.